Hi, I'm Dr. Chala Gundla. I'm a neurologist and a pain physician with Prisma Health Neurology here in Columbia, South Carolina. What is a chronic migraine headache? Migraine is not just a bad headache. It is a neurological disease. Symptoms vary from person to person, but the most common include head pain, sensitivity to light and sound, nausea, vomiting, brain fog, dizziness, fatigue, trouble with concentration. And sometimes they are also associated with issues with vision, talking, tingling and numbness, and weakness. How often do chronic migraines occur? Migraine affects approximately one in six households in the United States and more than one billion people globally. The number of migraine attacks vary from person to person. It can happen once every month or once in two months and even sometimes more rarely. But in some patients, they get some kind of headache almost every day with severe ones intermittently. When the headaches happen more than 15 days per month, that is when we call it chronic migraine. What is the cause of chronic migraine headaches? We don't know the clear answer yet. It is likely genetic. There are more than 100 different genes that may be associated with migraine risk. That is the reason migraine differs from one person to another. What are some of the triggers of chronic migraine headache? Triggers for migraine are predominantly stress, hormone changes, certain food like aged cheese, red wine, chocolate, aged or preserved meats, MSG, caffeine, sometimes poor sleep, dehydration, skipping meals, weather changes, strong odors. And one of the most common reasons for transformation into a chronic migraine from an episodic migraine is obesity, concussions, untreated depression or anxiety, untreated sleep disorders, and medication overuse headache. What are some of the ways chronic migraine headache impact people? Migraines are very disruptive and make it difficult and sometimes nearly impossible to do activities as usual. They can disrupt work, they can disrupt household core, they can disrupt recreational or social plans and many more. Overall, this can cause a lot of stress and functional limitation in the patients with migraine. How do you diagnose chronic migraine headaches? There is no specific test to diagnose migraine like a brain scan or a blood test. It is a clinical diagnosis. It is diagnosed predominantly by talking with the patient, getting the history regarding the description of the headache, what are the triggers for the headache, and examining the patient. But sometimes there are other neurological pathology that can also present like a migraine, but they have something else going on. In that case, we like to get some brain imaging and do other tests to make sure that we rule out other causes. What are the treatment options for chronic migraine headaches? There are many options for treatment of chronic migraine, but most of the time it is a mix of multiple things. The most important ones are lifestyle changes, medications, procedures like nerve blocks and Botox, some devices like cephaly and gamma core, and treatment of underlying comorbidities like neck pain, depression, insomnia, sleep apnea, TMJ disorders, fibromyalgia. Because if these underlying disorders are not treated, it can worsen the chronic migraines. Are there any steps you can take to manage the pain associated with chronic migraine headaches? There are plenty of things that are out of our control, like weather changes, we can trigger a headache. But there are many things that we can do to prevent or manage migraines. The most important ones are lifestyle changes, starting with sleep, Keeping a consistent sleep schedule can help manage migraine. It is best to keep your bedtime and the number of hours of the sleep you get the same each night. Good sleep hygiene is very important. Getting at least like 7.5 to 8 hours a night is really helpful for preventing migraine. And the next one is exercise. For some people, exercise may trigger an attack or make the attack worse. but Generally, 30 to 50 minutes of moderate intensity, aerobic activity, three to five times a week is really helpful. And the next one is eating. 
Eating regular meals throughout the day, being hydrated, avoiding fasting, and avoiding food that can trigger a migraine attack like red wine, caffeine, etc. is really helpful in treating or managing the migraines. Drinking plenty of water, approximately eight glasses of water a day is really helpful. And the other important thing is keeping a diary of the headaches is very helpful because keeping a track of the headaches, how often they come or what are the triggers for them is really helpful in managing headaches. Next, the stress. Well, we all experience ups and downs throughout the day. Managing the stress is a crucial part in the managing migraine because stress can trigger or worsen the migraine attacks. Finding activities that they can decrease the stress are impossible. Avoid or limit those things that can increase stress are really helpful. So making the small lifestyle changes can have a significant impact on migraine management. And also the other important thing is making some modifications at home or work like decreasing the bright light, not trying to avoid fluorescent light, using sunglasses or there are some glasses called FL41 glasses when you're out and things like that would really help in managing headaches. And, and the other most important thing but not widely discussed thing is not using medications or the counter medications because these can cause medication overuse headache. Taking them two to three times per week is okay, but taking them every day is bad. I would say restricting to twice per week is the best thing. Is there research being done on the cause and treatment of chronic migraine headaches? There is a lot of research going on to understand how migraine occurs and what are the causes and what are the different genes causing migraines, etc. And there are many new medications coming out for both for preventative as well as abortive treatment of migraine. There has been a significant change in the last few years with the newer medications coming into the market, which acts on the CGRP molecules, has been a game changer in the field of migraine. And there are newer medications under research and clinical trials right now.